night guys so a thing happened and we're gonna talk about it so just vibe with me that's how the little things get So before we get into everything, I just want to say hi. My name is Brittany. I was known as One Castle Two Queens and because I'm the worst and we're going into 2020 keeping it 100, 2020. See guys, I can't even get out of 2020. We're going into 2021 keeping it 100 and that's why we are officially the inconsistent queen because i'm consistently inconsistent and you guys love it and y'all tolerate it and y'all love me for it i'm an inconsistent bitch and i'm so sorry i am back guys so um we are just gonna jump into it um if y'all are watching this now i have been gone from the prison about five months now and before I jump into why I left the prison and dive into that, um, we are going to talk about some things that they don't tell you when you start working at a prison. So before y'all sit there and you're like, oh, she's going to spill the tea or coffee or the Dr. Pepper. Um, it's more of like, I just want you guys to know what to be prepared for. I'm not going to sit here. Like I said, I'm never going to bash TDCJ. Um, but there are some things because there's a lot of people who are really indecisive and don't know if they're ready to jump into the prison. And the first thing that, that they tell you, and I've actually mentioned in my video about the academy, is that you are going to bleed that prison. Your life is going to be dedicated to it. And when they say that you're going to spend 80% of your time at work and the rest at home, they mean it. Um, it's, it, it sucks. You, you start to really, it, it, it changes you. It changes you because you, you spend so much time, you start spending more time at work than you are at home. And it gets to the point where you're just like, like if you feel like a stranger at your house and you're more comfortable at work. And I think that that can go for anybody that works in any kind of prison, law enforcement, firefighters. I mean, because you dedicate so much time, you build such bonds with the people that you work with that you start to feel like a stranger in your own home. And it, it starts to take a, a toll on your psyche. Um, I mean, from the things that we see, um, the things that we have to deal with and you come home and you're wanting to talk to either your, your spouse or your friend about it. And they're looking at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? Or like, you know, like, like you feel like they wouldn't understand as much as a person who you actually work with would. Um, so, I mean, it's just like you, you build connections with those people. Th those are your battle buddies. Um, I think that the same goals for the military, you know, like you'll go home and you talk to your, like your husband or your wife and you're like, oh my God, you know, so such and such happened today. And then your spouse or your significant other sitting there like, oh, okay. What does that mean? And you're just like, you know, what, j j just forget it. Or, you know, you have a really, a really crappy day and all you want to do is just kind of relax and breathe but when you get home you gotta you gotta play a role and be involved and be happy and in your head you're 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 kind of just like I, I just I just need a second so it just it it takes a toll on you and and it's it's something to think about um just I I, I don't discourage anybody from it because it, it literally it's changed me I I'm a very gullible person and I, I, if you ask anybody, I do not have a backbone. I am a yes person, always have been. And being at the prison, I learned how to say no. It, it's it's made me that mean that I needed. Um, I, I have seen things, been through things that has made me stronger. Has it broke me a little? Absolutely. But did it make me stronger? Yes. And those are things that I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else 
that it has pulled out a side of me that would have never came out if I didn't have that opportunity to be at the at the prison. So I would never discourage anyone who feels like, like they're too nice or too whatever for the prison because you're not. Because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, but just like, just think about it. Like I like and like you're doing right now, you're researching, you're, you're, you're looking up videos about the prison. You're, you're seeing why people left. You're seeing why people are still there. You're, you're, you're taking tips. You're taking hints. You're taking, you know, you're, you're intaking all this information. And I'm the type of person I, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's the best. Oh, it's all rainbow and sunshines. It's not. It, it's not. It's something that it, it, it does mess with you. It is something that, that will help you. It is something that will break you. It is something that you won't ever get from any other job and I mean in a good way and in a bad way and when it comes to your at home support you're going to need it um, because you're going to think that everything is smooth everything is fine everything is good to go and you're going to have that one thing that happens and you're going to need that support system and you're going to need someone there who understands or you're going to need someone in your corner because it's just that, that, that is the type of job that we have and again i i hate to be one of those those women who hey i work out of prison and you can do it look at me i'm doing it and i'm making a video now saying i left um it, it was nothing to do with an inmate so y'all can go ahead and get that out of your head um it was just it, it was time for me to go because it it started to change me it, it was taking up a, a lot of my time. It started to, I started to become a person that I wasn't okay with. Um, I felt like I became meaner. Um, I just, I wasn't happy. I felt like I, I was becoming very bitter. And that, that's just not me. And it, it was time to go. Now, would I ever go back to the prison? I'm not saying yes. I'm not saying no. Um, I did not leave in bad terms whatsoever. I... It was just it was time to go and when it come to like let, let, let's jump into this whole COVID situation having being consistently put in with the inmates that had COVID and having to consistently be tested over and over and over then having to come home and be around people and it, it was just it was a lot so it, it was time but if y'all are curious um, I do have a new job. Um, I work at a bank and I I love it. I I, I deal with the money. I, I have my own little area. I'm building new bonds and I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I do not want you guys to cancel me. Please do not cancel me because I am chock full of knowledge. I can still make videos about um, the prison, whatever y'all want to know, whatever kind of tips, tricks or anything that y'all need. Just let me know. Leave a comment below. You guys keep communicating in those comments below with each other. If y'all are going to the same unit, talk to each other. If there, if if someone asks a question that you're you're a tenured and you know, answer that question. I would not I would not be upset about that. I want our community to grow and grow and grow because th th this beautiful chaos family, I love it because we are consistently and consistent and beautiful, and I want the family to keep growing and growing and be stronger and stronger because. That's just what we do. We're going to spread love here. Um, another thing that um, that I started is I am going to school. Um, I do online classes through Ashford. I am going to finish my needle natal. Um, right now, I am a medical assistant, so I'm just kind of building and getting there <laughs> slowly. But um, so I'm, I'm super excited about that. I, I don't know. I, I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys. So y'all just tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to hear. G give me some ideas about some videos. Um, I am so excited to be back and I hope that y'all are happy, that I'm happy, that you're happy, that I'm back. And we're going to do this together. So leave some comments below, spread some love below, give me some video ideas. Tell me what you guys want to know. Um, I, I don't... I, I, I want to say I do have to tread lightly, but I don't have to tread as lightly. So if y'all have questions that y'all want me to answer and y'all want me to be 100, just go ahead and ask. And I will... 
we're, we're gonna try to stick on a schedule <laughs> we're gonna try to stick on a schedule um i am off every other tuesday so that is why y'all are getting a video today and we're gonna try to stick with it if i can do more we'll do more if i can't do more then y'all will forgive me anyway because i'm already inconsistent <laughs> so i love you guys so much you guys stay beautiful in this chaos and i will see you guys next time